Hello everyone, it's Lorelei, and I'd like to welcome you today to the Very Fairy Show. Yes, this is a very cute little fairy collection that I did some time ago, and I'd like to share it with you today. So, there are about six patterns, it's a small group, and it starts off with a wonderful panel. These are all really sweet fairies, they're just the, the cutest things. There's a purse fairy and a shoe fairy and different kinds of fairies here from all over. Wonderful colors, pink, lilac, lovely, sweet pastel colors. So that's the center of the fairy story. And though, and I wanna tell you too while I'm here, I made this quilt out of two of those panels. I did a little surgery in the middle to remove one line. So I had took a little work to get it to be the right size. But then when I got, got done, not only did I have a wonderful little quilt, but I had these terrific leftovers here, these extra blocks. There's like eight of them or so to make other projects with, which I'll show you what I've done here with that. So the rest of the, the uh, designs are, so right off I made a, I have a tossed fairy pattern on blue with little tiny polka dots, it's very cute. They're just lounging around back there on the back of that quilt, being cute, you know? And then I have a wonderful, uh, this is my butterfly pattern, which I call swarm. Lots of them just piled on there, flying around, looking beautiful. I also have a more open butterfly pattern. This is called flighty. It's very pretty pink, pink butterflies. And then I have a wonderful mushroom pattern light and happy just flipping around there on that yellow background and of course i've used it here it makes a great sashing it's just a very happy happy pattern then i have a great little dot this dot contains all the colors in the collection and just goes beautifully around the edges of your projects of course i also have wonderful um, other things in my collections such as this is from happy baby this is called bitty dot and it's perfect perfect for this uh, collection. Also the colors and there's also a great bias stripe here that I've used on the side and also this is the, where I use the bitty dot on this quilt so I was really pleased with that combination. And then of my with my spare parts, my extra blocks, I made these really cute fairy pillows. Here's a little 11 incher. Isn't that cute? Very small. And I've just offset, a cocked her a little bit to the side, the fairy in the middle. And then I ran these really nifty colors all around the edge. And I also uh, bound this little pillow like a quilt, which is a really, <coughs> excuse me, nifty way to finish it. Just made it really, really uh, a nice edge on there, I thought. And then this is a rectangular pillow with the same, same technique. And I've used the Lazy Fairy because she was more of a rectangular block and then all the color spray there. How sweet is that? I used a yellow dot on the back. You're just free, you're pastel free with all of these. Any kind of pastel color works in this collection. And this is a square pillow. This is a 14 inch square with a larger block. So that's my pillow collection. And then also, and I'll show you, I thought I would, uh, people always comment that they really enjoy my uh, technique for putting these colors together to create a project. And so I thought I'd just give you a little tip, show you how I do that. This is a little tray, the top of a little plastic box. And I take my, my centerpiece, which I'm gonna use in the center of my pillow or my wall hanging or whatever, put it in the middle and run around it. I, go, I take my two inch strips, I keep them uh, stored by color in a drawer. And I go into my color strips and I just pull out the colors that go with. I move in and out of the various colors that are in here, like through the lilacs, and then I transition into the yellows and the pinks. You kind of keep them together, and that way it's not too much of a mishmash, you know? So you're not looking at just a chaos of color, but it has a little bit of order stringing through it, and that's maybe the key to getting that look so special. So I hope that's helpful, and you'll enjoy uh, doing that, making things like this. And then the other thing I have, of course, is the embroidery. This is the little fairy that uh, she sits on a mushroom in the fabric under her little block. And this is just a plain uh, taffeta, and I think it's, this feels like cotton too on the front, of uh, this uh, 
little pillow, which I have used plain little uh, pastel colored uh, satin ribbon to create this plaid effect. Isn't that cute? And it's perfect for the fairy. It's a wonderful mix. And then, so we have two fairy, very fairy embroideries. One is filled and one is open. So you can use those to make uh, jewelry, fancy projects to go with your fabric pot projects from this collection. Now the uh, worksheet for this quilt will be up on the uh, website for you to use. And I wanted to warn you, make sure you'll be careful getting through that section of the, of the instructions regarding uh, surgically removing that one roll of blocks. So you'll be uh, the size that it is. And it's about 41 by 47. It's just a nice lap size quilt. A nice small project and a terrific gift for that little fairy lover in your life. So thank you for coming. That's uh, the whole story of the fairies and I hope that you've enjoyed them and will like to work with them sometime in your creative future. So thanks for coming. See you next time here at my studio here at Lorelei Designs. Bye!